about to uh, attempt to change the oil on my Champion 2800 watts uh, inverter, uh, as I refer to it as my generator. I've uh, I use it when I go camping, when I boondock. Um, I use it when I tailgate at the football games. Uh, we hook a TV up and crock pot and a little bit of everything with it if we uh, if we need to. And uh, you know it's a, it's a handy little thing. It's um, it's not a Honda. It's not a it's not that uh, nice Predator that Harbor Freight sells. Uh, but it didn't cost anywhere near as much. I bought this as a uh, a uh, manufacturer uh, refurb, um, and you know it. I'm gonna say it probably had less than 10 or 12 hours on it. It was basically brand new when I got it. Uh, carried a year warranty, and I've been nothing but pleased with it. I've had a couple years now, and uh, it's been a been a really good good item. But we're gonna change the oil in it. Um, I normally change it uh, right around 145 hours, but in this particular case, I don't know if you can see that on there, I've only got a little over 87 hours on it, um, but it's been about a year and three or four months since I've changed it, and that's a little bit long, um, so we'll see what we get here in just, uh, just a minute, but we're going we're gonna to see if we can't knock that out right quick. All right, so let's see if we can get inside this and uh, drain the oil. Just a couple little screws holding it on here on the back. Got it set up on a cinder block because I have to get up under it to, to drain it. And there it is. Let's see what size that drain plug is. It is going to be a 12 millimeter, okay? And uh, I remember there's a rubber plate, and naturally I am sitting on the cinder block with it, so I'm going to have to move that right quick. Let's see what that does. Okay, so the plate wasn't on the bottom. I didn't remember. It, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but that is a... Uh, little rubber cap that opens from the top so uh, let me see if I can open that I, I wish I had something to hold the light for you but I don't but we'll pull it out and you can see it then okay hopefully you can see that that's just uh, flipped up and that's where it's gonna drain right there should should be fairly easy or it was the last time so here we go See what we can do here. Yeah. A little tight. There we go. Tighter than I was expecting. and hopefully more will come out. It only holds 19 ounces. Um, so it's, uh, you 
know, a little more than a half a quart, obviously. And I, uh, I'm going to use uh, a fully synthetic uh, 5W20. Uh, I'm sorry, 5W30. And the manual says you can use uh, both 10W30 and, and uh, 5W30. And the reason I opt for the 5, not that we get terribly cold winters here, but if my power goes out here at the house, I would anticipate uh, it could be during snow or ice. And with the 5W30, obviously, it's a thinner oil and uh, runs a little better in cold temperatures, or at least, at least that's my theory on it. Um, obviously, everybody has their own opinions. But... Um, you know, the other times I'm going to run it, it's going to be in the spring and summer when I'm camping, so it'll be warmer. And, uh, you know, that, that shouldn't be an issue there either. So, uh, okay, I believe we've got it pretty much, pretty much done there. So let's uh, put the drain plug back in. or two while we're trying to hold it up. I'm going to wipe that off. And we'll set it back on the center block a little bit better. And this is the oil I'm going to use, um, like I say, fully synthetic, uh, 5W30. And with this generator come a nice little long funnel. So we will simply put that in. I'll put a rag or two down under it just in case some of it decides it wants to go elsewhere. But again, I, it's going to be 19 ounces, and uh, I've marked it on the uh, side of the cord here. And I'll get close to it, and I'll keep checking it. Let's see where we're at. Oh, we got a lot more to go. You can tell this is scientific. I believe that's it right there. Yeah, maybe just a hair. That is it. That's our 19 ounces. all back together here. Take us a quick check of it. I'm not sure how much you're going to be able to see on this without a light in there. And I don't have a light. That's, that is full. We are good. We are good this back on this is just a little actually a little uh, I don't know if you can see that or not a rubber piece here that I'm not sure the overall function of it other than to let the 
oil drain out when you're putting it in. It, I found the last time it was actually more in the way than, than anything. But uh, anyway, that's what it is. So we'll put the flap back in here. The little rubber flap that lets it drain out the out of the oil plug. And we will put the dipstick back in. Tighten that oil plug, drain plug. And that is pretty much it. Pretty much it. Wipe a little spillage off. cover back on. we're done. We're now good for another, what, 145 hours, or probably a year. And like I say, I, I'd prefer to change it at least once a year, but I'd gone over this time, so shame on me, but uh, we're done. <laughs>